at that. It looks so real. It's a real pinball. And we have a new interface um, that we've set up here. I'm the Night Mutilator, still playing games whenever I have some free moments, and then streaming them for some reason. Completely unknown. But I want to read you a quote about this game as you watch some gameplay. Forget anything you have ever seen in a pinball game. This one has it all. Electronic Gaming Monthly. Stands out as one of the best pinball carts today. Mega Play Magazine. Creates all the exciting kinetic energy of pinball. Game Pro. So in this game, which I used to play non-stop when I was youthful. Um, this game was very, very, very nice. Because you could build a game so you felt like you did something cool. So we're going to go in here because I haven't played this forever. But look at what the game name is called. I didn't even know this until right this second. Blood Bath. What? How is that real? It says bloodbath. I have to take a selfie with that. Because that, sh that shiznit is really, really getting crazy on it. So let's get a picture of it. Okay, hold on. I got to get in there, dog. Okay, that's a selfie. Selfie, t selfie moment during the bloodbath. And then let's just get a picture of just bloodbath. Because that's just... Just out of this world. Maybe that's why I wanted to play it so bad. Because sub subliminally, I just knew that it was gory with the parts. But I remember that, yeah, you could make your own scary pinball machine. And you can change the music, action, manic. What? Okay, so let's pretend like I just made this. I think this is like giving you like a little uh, teaser of what you can do. Has all the kinetic energy. See? Jane? Somebody hadn't finished a game yet. See, that's the funny part about Genesis games. Is that the games have memory on the game themselves. Oh man. Terrible. Somebody just gave me a text to Ruski. Very nice. Very good news. So what do you think of the new layout and the new background and all that kind of stuff? Is it getting on your nerves? This is a virtual reality pinball game. Look at this. But it's all gory themed. And this was by Electronic Arts back in the day. Look at that. And then it goes to this other section over here. So you can make your own game. So this was like a, you uh, could make your own games. And since the game disc has memory, it saves it on the disc. You like the new fancy branding? Yep, did the background. So we just changed our layout up a bit just because we were getting wiggy with it. Um, you want to get out of this game, quit. What are the other styles? Oh yeah, Boneyard. Brain Ball. Cash Money. Do you see this? You better take a picture right now. I'll do a selfie with the cash money in the background. Look. Do you see it? Have you seen it yet? Look at this. Justin, you need to see this, dude. It says cash money, dude. Isn't that crazy? We'll play cash money just because it's... And then you could use gory parts. So you're not only using cash money, but you're also playing with gory parts. And you got power unit or stone or bamboo 
or bathroom or granite or steel plate you can do any money cash money in the background look at that skill easy because easy does it action psychotic or normal or manic manic depressive so it's like boring or psychotic like the, it's the screen changes or something let's just do normal it sounds better techno dream for the music uh dementia ufo new rock rainforest uh, no music. Which one do you want? Techno Dream? North Shore? <laughs> UFO? I, I don't know. It's up to you, dude. How about Rainforest? Alright. Nice. So, am I just playing this, or what's happening here? So I'm not making a game right now. I don't even, re I don't even know how you get to that mode. I can't even remember. Let's just pretend that we spent the whole day making this. Cash money. Cash money, uh, pinball, uh, realistic physics. Very, very tight. At one point, this was like the best, uh, an amazing game. This is like genius. And it kind of is, because you can make your own game. It's awesome. Make your own levels. It's just like when you when you make your own levels, though, you know what happens at the end, so it's not as exciting, you know what I mean? It's better when you play something that you don't know anything about. You don't know the story, you don't know the backstory. You just play the game, and it's got to figure it out. Like, look at this. There's a secret pathway. Look. Oh, my God. Did you see that? And it goes through there. Oh, then it pops back up that way. Look at this. So you can make all this crap. Cash money is with the boneyard. Gory style. Okay. It is pretty freaky that it Get up there. I know where you want to go. Oh, it does have a it does have a little bit of a tilt -a -ruski in there. Player one. What is this Jane all about? Like who? When? Hmm. Hmm. So do you think that this what would you give this game as a rating? Answer me now. What would be your rating of this game? Like, if you had to give it a killer rating, something super dope. Well, I'll tell you what I think. I just think if this game is out of control and uh, far too realistic for me. I usually like games that are a little bit less realistic. This feels like I'm at a pinball arcade right now. And that's not as cool. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, I need a little fantasy. Just a little bit. Ah! So I'll give it a 10 out of 10. 69er. And, uh, fantastic gameplay. We need to figure out how you get out of here. I mean, we do have the cash money background. Let's change it up. Dungeon fun. Dungeon fun. <laughs> I don't know why that's happening. Classic 2, huh? That looks pretty cool. Blueprint. Pool. Uh, let's do blueprint. What what background do you want, dude? Yep, bamboo. And then we'll try, um, I just like, easy, fast, super fast, easy, and then fast. 
Easy, then fast. I'm gonna go manic. The music should be something like dreamy, like a techno dream session. Now, I don't know what in the hell. How do you get to the section where you make your own games? That's the part I can't remember. Let's look at this blueprint. What? Oh no. Ch dungeon fun. Haven't you ever been to the dungeon fun? You've never gone to the dungeon fun? Or not? Or yes. You have. Whoa! Look at all those bumpers up there, all those pop bumpers. Look at all the points that you can get all on your own. All by yourself. You take a picture of it, do a selfie with it at the end of the score, and send it to girls on OkCupid, and then you uh, can um, get everybody's phone number and then have a Skype or a Zoom session. Launcher. So I wish I could share. I don't know how you get to the stupid app. I go little. Uh oh. No, we're still playing this. Okay, we gotta figure out like. Okay, quit game. If you quit the game, play. Enter code. Workshop. There it is. Found it, dude. Okay, so then um, let's do flipping. No, let's do Game Pro. That's why Game Pro gave him a good score. And then we'll do uh, Pool. And we'll do... Ugh. Gosh. Kind of hard to decide. We'll do Blueprint Background. We'll have it easy. We'll do some psychotic music and go to the North Shore. So what's going on now? Okay, so now look. I'm a construction worker boy. Or kid. And then you can go into this menu. You got flippers. Where's flippers? Okay, so this is how I'm destroying. So I'm like, I don't like that anymore. That's a boring game. Just delete everything and you're just like, eh, I could do that even that. Eh. And then you go back into that. Whoa. Oh, no, what are you doing? Get out of there. What the hell? No, I want out. Get out. Get out of here. Oh my god, that is horrible. What is going on with these menus? Okay, here we go. So let's say we want to put track, lay down some track. Is that what's going on now? Do I have it selected? Oh, here we go. So if I wanted to lay down some track work, I could do that right there and continue in the tradition. I don't know how you rotate it. There's not very many buttons on a Genesis controller. Um, blaster grabber. Okay, there's a rotate. Found it, bro. Pretty gnarly. Pretty gnarly, bro. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. So that's where the secret if you hit it up in that area, that's dope. Targets. I don't know how you know what the target is here. Okay, here. Oh, they're just. Those are funky. So then you could put some over here. I think I deleted some that were already over here. Whoops. Oh, and then you cycle through a bunch of different targets. I see. Right? How do you make something like this happen on a game system that only has three buttons? What do you do? 
He had to make a pinball machine. They figured it out. See, okay. That looks like a fun target, huh? You'd put that in the middle, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Look at that. Put it right there. Let's put some more flippers in there, dog. Wait. Okay, there goes. So then you just drop one on down. Right there, right? Isn't that cool? That's a smallie. Okay, so then you go up here, put one right there. How about that? Okay, and then let's go in here. Let's check it out. Um, what do we got? What's the specials? What do you got on special? Oh, wait. God, the controller is a terrible, terrible, terrible device. Okay. Special. Aha, here we go. That's pretty special. Um, that looks pretty special. I don't know what that's going to do. But let's put it here. What other kind of special things do you like? Let's put this here so it's kind of hard to hit it into that area, right? From where that was. And you could put one down here just to make it kind of funky. How about like that? What else do you want to put in there? It's up to you. I just want you to have fun. I want you to enjoy yourself. This is how you could make pinball machines. This is probably the easiest way to actually make a pinball machine thing. Would be to do it in this game. But you're also a little weasel if you do. So you gotta be careful about that. So you can put one of these here. I don't know what happens with that. But it sounds pretty fun. You just wanna put fun things in fun places. So you just draw using your finger finger T ups. You just go like that. And you just keep drawing them until you can't handle it anymore. Look at that, isn't that fun? So that's possible to hit that. And then what other targets do we have? Okay, that color. What do you think? Put one here. Nope, it says the hype is over. Nope. Why? Nope. Yeah, it's just like dreams. I should just build my game in here. I'd be done with it already. So yeah, I am still working on that game. I just got d annoyed with some of that game. Oh, I can put one there though. I wonder what's gonna happen with that track that I laid down. I bet you it messes everything up. So look at that, that's kind of funky, kind of unique. Right? That's kind of silly. It's kind of fun. And unique. Look at that nice. Look at that, that's nasty. Okay, let's put some over here. Hi yeah. Like that. What do you think? Do you like my designs? Look at this. Look at these beautiful designs I've make, I'm making. Have you commented on my designs yet? Oh, that was a misfire. I don't know how he, oh yeah. You have to go into a different, let's figure out blaster. What did it say? Blaster is B. B for blaster. What? Whatever. I like it right there, so don't make me move it. Let's put another one over here. That's kind of fun. So, let's say we like everything we've done here and we're just loving it. We just can't believe it. Then you can save it into Emery 1. Save as Emery 1. Maybe. Erase old save? Yes. Emery 1. Workshop. So now let's play this bad boy. One player. Here we go. Now we're playing our own game creation. We've created a game. 
Now this section we didn't touch, so we just left it as is because we were so funky when we were making this. Oh, look at that. They didn't say that that would work, did they? How's that going to get out of there? Look at that. You're going to have to really give it a bounce of rooskies. So you, you messed that one up. Oh, there we go. Got it out. Oh, that was terrible. Let's play again. Cool. And then at any time... Oh, look, it hit that. So that does work. See? We're pinball designer boys. Oh, no. And then at any time, I can go quit and then go back through here to workshop amory one and i could change it to gore again industrial band and uh music could be dementia and look it just instantly switches it over to that so then you save it there say yes oh come on give me a break save it whatever let's go back to here and go to one player and here we go now we'll play dementia is this making you want to barf oh no this is very intense something just happened Oh, the game just had a bug, dude. Bug alert! <laughs> Hells yes. Right? Hells yes. Hell yeah. So then we get back into it, and this game is why. I want to bash it over the head. If I could bash a game it over the head right now, I would bash the heck out of this game. Look at that level they're trying to show off. Oh, I made a better looking level than you. I'm the designer of the game and I can make better looking levels than you can. Well, yeah, whatever, dork. Probably a total nerd. You know what I mean? Like, what a dork trying to outshine my level. My level's way better. It's faster. This is boring and slow. So, see how cool that game is? And then at any time, I can just go right back into the workshop. And I'm a working boy. I'm getting paid now. That's the nice thing, is once you get into this mode, you are getting paid. How do we get this stupid destroyer thing again? No. No. Get out of there. Get out. Nobody's asking you to do that. Big jerk. Get me out of here. Okay, here we go. This is cool. Let's get out of the bathroom. That's gross to be in the bathroom with that much gore. Let's do a pool table. That's more sophisticated. Right? Now, the thing I noticed is um, there just needs to be a lot more targets all the time. No, don't go in there, you jerk. It's hard to even figure out what is happening. This is all a big dream. Okay, let's try to put some targets down, dude. Full? Full? Aw, oh, you full of it. Aw, oh, you. Okay, now it says B is blaster and C is grabber. Oh, here we go. Let's blast the heck out of he Hecarooski out of everything. Look at that. Look, Justin. Watch. Look. Oh, God. 
this this is a dream come true. I used to listen to Motley Crue all the time while I would do this. That and Carcass. I would listen to Carcass all the time while playing this. Isn't that hilarious? I would design games all day for no reason. Like, what are you going to do with that? No use at all. But you can say that you made a game and you're cool. And then maybe one day you'll be able to make a game for Adam Sandler. And then your whole life is complete. You don't have to do anything else. You can retire. So if you hit that, it would go over there, right? So that's kind of dementia. So you you clear it out. Whoops, I didn't mean to hit that. I don't know if there's an undo or what's up, dude. So don't yell at me. And then you come back in here. And then you can pick stuff. Flippers again. You're a flipper, kid. Can you imagine all the flippers that you could put all over the, yourself? Look, there's one right there. I could put one here even if I needed to. Nope, doesn't want me to. I can put it there though. That's good. That's good news. See, and you can do the other side. Again, even though it's too many flippers. If you want to be too many flippers, you can be anything you want to be as a, a little flipper kid. Look at all those flippers. Justin, have you ever seen that many flippers at once? Doubt it. Look, I put one there. Look, Justin. You put a flipper there if I want to. I'm just going to put flippers all the way down this whole thing. Look. Look at these too many flippers. Right? Put another one in there just to annoy everybody. Nope. Nope. He doesn't want me to. Let's put a flipper here though, because this would be safety net. A safety net. Um, can you imagine having that many flippers in your house at one time? What would you do with a, that amount of flippers in your kitchen, in the, in the laundry room, in the stove, down the drain, everywhere, just kicking up, kicking up Dixie? What would you do? Look at all those flippers. This is out of control. They should give you a warning that you're just being too crazy with your flippers. Huh. And then you put targets in there. What else do you need? It's stupid. All you need is flippers and targets. Easy. Easy money. Look. There's a target, kid. See? Look at this. No, doesn't want that there. Let's just put it weirdly, like it means something. Sometimes if you just make it look like it means something, it does and people will get interested in trying to figure out the hidden story behind your calligraphy. And I've been researching how to do this, um, this kind of like pattern. It's all subliminal, subconscious realities that I've done this. Look at this. Can you imagine if you could have this many targets in your home? Down in the stairs, down in the basement, um, all over your toothbrush. Nope, doesn't want me to do anything there pretty pissed off about it sometimes you feel like there's like a little kid that's like no like what's that all about look at that that's a cool sign down there so now that we got that let's save that as a uh, memory two yeah let's erase the old one okay now let's go one player bro here we go 
This game was awesome. Like, there's not very much. See, it started up there. Rather than have. Oh, that kicked it out of town. That's because I deleted stuff up over there. That was your fault. You made me do it. You told me to get rid of all that stuff. And I wasn't ready to. I wasn't wanting to commit to that. Ah, uh, it's hard to remember that it's a C button. It's the, uh... I'm using the old school Genesis, because this is on Sega Genesis, guys. I know that you farted, but this is on Genesis. And uh, if you need to see a different view of it, you can over here. Okay. This is on Sega Genesis. Super, super Sega. Super fun fest. So let's get back. Back into it. Okay. Don't hit it up there on the top because that's where the... You screwed everything up. Okay. Let's get it out of there. Okay, good. Now it's hitting my targets. Look at that. These are all my targets. I did a hidden little message in there. Something a little pagan. Since I thought that the level was scary, I thought I'd write something pagan with pagan Morse code. A lot of times you can use pagan Morse code, especially now that we're quarantined. It's a little bit more accepted. That's too many flippers, but I do enjoy flippers. So I don't mind it, really. Oh, look at that. It flips on over to the other side. Oh, down the old hatch. Ball four. What is with ball fours on Genesis? Why would you have a ball four? Did, they get, did these people ever go to the arcade and see what a pinball machine does? Oh, no. That was my final score, dog. So then you could go back into... Uh, we'll just do one more little round here. You go back into the workshop. Who cares about pool tables? Those are boring. Let's get back to stone. And uh, let's get classical. And the music can definitely change at this point because this is getting a little bit dull. Let's go to UFO. Okay, here we are. Back in the USSR. Um, I don't want to save it. Where is that controller? Here it is. Oh, no, get out of there. You jerk. I just want the blaster. Here we go. You ready? Look. Justin. Look at me. Look at me now. Look at me go. Look at that. So creative, you know? It's so creative. This fills my creativity to the extreme. And that's why I do it. This is because the creativity level is just so unique and frugal. So then let's go to uh, walls. Like walls of time and walls of death. Walls of fury. Walls of ice cream and uh, popcorn. Walls of delicious popcorn. Can you imagine? Delicious. Doesn't that sound wonderful? If you could go to a... No, get out of here. God, these controls suck. Shut up. I'm gonna kill you. I don't want to go to the do not save every time. We're just trying to have fun here. There's no button. There's no use for it. No, don't go there. Dude. Okay, I gotta remember the controls. It's been weird. It's weird to do it. Here, I want to do the blaster again, because I don't like this up here. Now I'm moving it or something. So you can put it over here so it's super annoying. Because you hit it all the time and it just goes nowhere. That's what you like. That's the kind of game you like. Blaster. Blast the smithereens out of it. Why does it keep switching to that now? Just blast this. Oh, you blast this. You blast this. Why do you keep switching to that every time? Blast this. Oh, 
Oh, this is great. There we go, blast it. Okay, now we can go to special little items. Little guys. And let's put a bunch of these. I'm just trying to get creative, you know, just using my creativity. It's fun to get creativity going on so fast in the day. Look how beautiful that looks. It looks like a bunch of platinum records I won. Huh. It looks like I won a bunch of platinum records and fell while I was unloading them. That's what I'm trying to do. And I has eating eggs up there. Right? So it's like you almost like you walked in the door. All the platinum records that you've won over the course of the last 10 years fall on the ground. Right in front of you. That's what it, it would look like. Except for there'd be one here and another one up over here. And then a, one over here. It'd stink. But it'd be cool. Because you'd walk in and you'd be like, I just designed a pinball machine. Right? So let's get some more targets in there just because it's getting boring without targets or stupid. Let's see. What kind of targets do you like? The little yellow ones? You do? You do like the yellow ones? Thank you. Thank you for answering so quickly. You really answered the heck out of that. Look at that. You can put targets everywhere. You could get so crazy with your mind control that you could have all sorts of weird messages going on in there. This means Big Dipper, Little Dipper, you know, kind of like flips on them over there, and then the Dipsy Doodle Dandy. Nope, it doesn't want me to finish my Dipsy. I can put one here, 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 here. I'm using a Wacom tablet now. Look. See? Look at that design. That's sick. It's like photorealistic. That's so dope. Cool. Well, let's let's save it. I want to save that one for sure. That one's really, really impressive. Okay, let's play it. You ready? Oh, look at all those crazy records. Oh, I don't want to hear that. What are you saying? The stupid TV just started going off and talking about Jeffrey Epstein. Who wants to hear about that crap? Get out of here. Shut up. We're playing this game, jerks. This game has serious... It's hard to tell the difference between real pinball and this game. There is no difference. Feels the same. It looks exactly the same. It looks like every... It looks like the new game that's coming out by Stern. This looks exactly like that game. Exactly. Let's play it again. Look at all those records. That would be a big award to win. Justin, have you ever won a bunch of platinum records? Look at all of them. Look at that, I got up to the top where the eggs were, where I eat the eggs. I just hate to walk through the door and just find all my records just laying strung about like that. I don't think I would be cool with that. I think I would definitely hurt somebody. You know what I mean? You went gold just now? 
Look at that. Look at all those crazy records spinning about. Oh, that was fun. It kind of did a little pipsidly doodle ah doodly pipsidly doodle. As you can tell, we're subscribing or dying. And if you haven't subscribed, you will die within seven days. And that's the that's the biggest problem, is that you will be dead within seven days. At the stroke of midnight, you'll get a phone call or a page, and uh, or a fax, and you'll be screwed. So don't mess up. You went gold. If you guys have any questions about this game, it is fly. I think it's the best game of the last century because you get to make a game that's better than every new Stern game. See that? That wouldn't happen in Stern game. Look, you go down the pathway, come back down. See? Back up there again. Disappears. It's a magic game. So anyways, I just want to show you, uh, so once again, you can just quit the game. You can just come right on over to workshop mode, okay? Change the way it looks. What is that, classic? That's cool. And granite, haven't done that yet. Change the music up, do new rock. And uh, you can go back in here and uh, go make sure you're in your workshop mode. And then you start using this, okay? And you can get your blaster going. Oh, just blast away. And blast that whole level away, because you thought it sucked. It was a terrible idea. Why would I keep that? That was terrible. It was a horrible, horrible excuse for a level. And just a very depressing state of affairs up there at the top with all the records falling on the ground. So you just delete everything you need. Right? Even though you just did it and you just spent all of your extra homework assignment time to do it. You still gotta delete it. Or die. So then you can switch back over to walls. Oops, I keep pressing the wrong stupid button. This game is driving me nuts. Here, walls, there's only three buttons. Uh, walls, okay. You switch to different, different degree of the wall, right? You can just quickly build a wall, just like this. Spinner Ruski, put it right here because it's gonna, you don't wanna, you don't wanna dip that dandy downstairs. Can we put it there? No, it's saying no way, you're a jerk. Okay, but you can put it there. Okay, so you can do that kind of thing. You can just build quickly, I really. I mean, faster than you would build a normal pinball machine, that's for sure. Plus, it looks more real than any real pinball machine. So see, you can build this little area over here, and then go to the flippers, oops, go to the flippers, and uh, put a bunch of flippers in there. Now you'll see this is the entrance up top, up yonder. So you would want to go back, get the blaster, blast away right over here. Make sure that you don't dipsy doodle dandy because you don't want the ball to just go out right away because that would be a boring game and you would never impress anybody. So anyways, I know that one of you left because you probably got sick to your stomach and I don't know if you're still there, Justin, or if you are, can you say something right now, please? I want to see what, how do you like, what I want to do is figure out um, how the heck I get out of these menus, okay, first of all, oh 
my god. Get me out of here. I'm going insane. Okay, so play. Well, that was wonderful. I mean, you guys did great. Hey, dog. You did really good. You really impressed the hell out of me at that on that game. Um, good work, dude. Really good work. Uh, Night Mutilator loves having fun um, at any expense. And um, it's great. I mean, it's, it's, it's just great. I mean, I'm having a great time. This is sick, dude. This is really, really good. Really good. Really good broadcast. I'd like to thank the team for this one. You guys really pulled off something magical. Virtual pinball, guys. If you're trying to find a game to do during the, um, the pandemic of 2020, uh, I would definitely pick this one up. Just go down to your local supermarket. Go to the Genesis section. Um, make sure you have your stuff on, your gloves and your hat and your helmet and your uh, dipstick and your uh, broom and handle and uh, your just joy of life. Um, but thank you for joining me, dog. I hope you really liked that game. We're going to get going now. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. It's been just absolutely brilliant. Uh, we love you.